Hey guys, welcome back to Professional Farmer 2014 with me, Bradham73. Um, let's see here, we're picking up kind of where we left off the last time, I hope. And <clears throat> kind of a weird thing I noticed. And I'm hoping this isn't going to become a problem because if you look back, like, the side of the field to the right is the side that I've cultivated. The side to the left is the side that I've not cultivated. So, <clears throat> it looks like it kind of automatically, you know, if you go out of the game and come back into the game, um, it'll automatically um, kind of line up the rows. So, I don't know. We're going to keep trying. I'm looking at my mini-map, and it does look... And if you look at the bottom left part of the screen where my little mini-map is, you can kind of see that the texture on the right side is different than the texture on the left side, so... I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. So, yep, I'm Bradham73, and this is the new uh, farming sim that just came out uh, today, actually, uh, from UIG. Um, I've been looking for... Wait, what am I doing? I've been looking forward to this for some time, and uh, it's pretty good. So if you haven't already done so, pick it up. Hopefully you guys watched the first episode. Um, <clears throat> if not, then um, go and watch it now. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more. Um, I I do believe I am going to plan on uh, you know continuing with the series. Um, definitely, definitely liking it so far. Um, and there's something else I was just going to say, and I totally, totally forgot. Um, oh yeah. I was going to talk about um, a couple things that I don't like about it so far. Um, basically, the way the game works is, is you have individual player profiles. So, you know, I can create a, a, a profile and call it, you know, Bradham73 or Bradham73 Let's Play or, you know, any other name that I want to call it. Um, and then from within that profile you can basically start a career or you can start a like a free roam like a free like an open map okay and but you can't save games within those you know you can't save games within the confines of that map so yeah I'm kind of mm, not uh, okay now drive back home okay well we'll do that in just a second because I want to finish uh, cultivating the field um, see so yeah, you can't create individual saves like uh, you know if you if your save game gets corrupted I'm really worried that uh oh you might lose the whole thing so um, that's one <clears throat> that's one kind of little you know, rather small pet peeve that I have, I guess. And let's see what else. Oh, and the game does seem to have some weird crashing bugs. Um, if you, uh, for example, alt tab out of the game um, and alt tab back in, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And with Steam, with since this is the Steam version, um, you actually have to, you know, control alt delete, go in. Uh, it's usually not on the first control alt delete you know, the device, or what is it, the application, you know, it's not device manager, it's the applications manager or something like that. Anyway, um, it, you have to actually go in and kill the individual process, um, which can be difficult to find, especially if you're not used to doing it. All right, so pretty much have this field done. So I'm going to raise this up, and we're going to head back to the, to the farm. So yeah, that's kind of a pet peeve that I've got right now. Um, you know, hopefully that's something that can be easily fixed. Um, yeah, because I record in fraps. You know, sometimes I need to you know alt tab back to the desktop in between recordings, and then you know want to start up a, another episode. So I don't know. Um, you know, aside from what I talked about in the last episode, like the Z key you know, being used to turn, you know, switch from forward to reverse. Mm. It is what it is, I guess. Um, detach the cultivator. 
I've hit the Z key, and now I have to press forward. It's just a little bit awkward. Um, I guess, you know, it kind of takes some getting used to. Um, and again, you want to set, set your things down before you decouple them. You need, <clears throat> now you need to buy seeds you can use to sow your field. In order to do that, I need to go to the store. Okay. Buy seeds in the store. Is the store right over here? No, it can't be. Alright, so I guess we're off to the store. Can't be right across the road here. Okay. This is as fast as this tractor goes. F F F gear up, come on. Um I don't really know how far the store is away from here. Yeah, I don't know. <clears throat> this is this is literally as quiet as I can get the um as quiet as I can get the music. Um so I don't know. Uh hopefully it's not too annoying. It's kind of annoying to me. I think in the last episode, um you know, it'd be nice to have the ability to turn the radio off, um, you know, from without having to exit back. You know, like right now, we can go, we can go into sound control, we can stay music is off. Um, you know, that that maybe gets a little boring, you know, if you're, especially if you're playing by yourself. Um, I don't know, it might, might get a little bit boring. Um, Let's see here, things I notice. Oh, the tractor doesn't make any tracks, though I don't think it does on Farmington either. I can't re I can't remember, honestly. Oh, please let this be the store. Please be the store. Yeah, the window glare is a little bit overdone. Um, for sure. So I'm gonna hit my map here. We are. Oh, we're heading up. Okay, so we came over. Let's see, where did we go? We came across here. I think we came over here, and now we're going up this way. Oh, don't tell me we have to go way up there. Oh, man, that's gonna take the whole episode. Um, <clears throat> the other thing, um, I think the, the camera view, how it, you know, it zooms like it is, um, why is the, I guess it's alright, um, the camera view, it'd be nice to be able to zoom out a little bit, I, I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm looking through goggles that have like a 1.2x, you know, 1.2 times, zoom on them or something like that. Um, I do, you know, a lot of photography in my spare time and uh, it's kind of a hobby of mine. And so I kind of feel like I'm slightly zoomed in. Um, it's not terribly bad, I don't guess, but I don't know. It would be cool if, like, you know, um, you know, like here I can use the scroll wheel on my mouse button to scroll in and out. It'd be kind of cool to like be able to scroll in and out slightly, um, you know, from inside the cabin. I think that would be neat. Um, we also need a cruise control button, big time. <laughs> um, you know, I don't know. I, I guess the game's you know more about doing things manually. 
I just really hope I don't have to go all this way to the store every time I want to go to the store because um, this can, you know, especially with a tracker this slow. I mean, if we can get like a, you know, a Porsche or something, <laughs> I can actually drive to the store and pick up my seeds. Um, that would be much, uh, much preferred. All right, here comes another car. I almost want to crash into the other car, but I don't want to pay 500 euros to get a, uh, you know, a tow truck out here to get me unstuck and possibly leaving me back at the farm again. I'm not sure if I mentioned this in the last video, um, but there there is no there are no options for anti-aliasing in this game. Um, so. There's a lot of uh, flicker, like if, if we look on the shadow of the trees in front of us, I mean, the shadows are well done, but at a distance, uh, the pixels can tend to flicker and shimmer, as you, know, as you can kind of see there on the horizon a little bit. Um, it's kind of a pet peeve of mine. Um, also, if we look like right at the, at the back of the tractor where the top of the white cap is, you know, in between the two uh, rear lights. Yay. Um, you can kind of see there's a little jagged line there, um, and that, that shows me that there's no anti-aliasing uh, going on. And it, there doesn't seem to be any options. You know, when you first start the game, there's a little menu that appears every single time um, that allows you to adjust that. And I don't think... If you go, yeah, really the only other options we have is just adjusting the gamma correction. Yep, that's it. So, <clears throat> but, you know, it's, it's, doing pretty well so far hopefully um, you know we'll see some updates um, get some bug fixes and things like that and I don't know who, who knows maybe down the road they'll start to uh, uh, you know fix some of these issues I mean they're not like major problems by any stretch of the imagination but um, you know just observations I guess Okay, my, my W key, my W finger is getting really tired. The graphics are pretty good though. Um, there's kind of like a little HDR, not, not actually non-HDR bloom effect. Um, you can see if you look at the tire wells, how the tires look um, almost overexposed and almost kind of like there's a little... Um, I don't want to say a haze filter, but there's, it's almost like there's a little camera filter or something like that. That uh, is that the farm store over there? Please let that be the farm store. Um, is it? Yeah, I think. Yep, it is. Yay! I'm just gonna cut across the grass here. You should buy at least 1,200 kilograms of wheat. If you buy less, you will have to come back to the store soon. Well, we certainly don't want that. Um, so maybe we'll buy 2,400 kilograms. <laughs> that way we ensure that we don't have to come back to the store that often. I'd also like to point out that today is Thanksgiving Day. Um, the, the game, for whatever reason, came out uh, at like 3 o'clock in the morning. So this is episode 2 
And my next episode, obviously, will be episode... Or, well, this, this episode that I'm currently doing is going to be episode two. Um, and let's see, press enter for the agricultural store. So uh, by the time this is up, it probably won't be up until, you know, Friday or Saturday. Um, but, uh, you know, I'd like to wish everybody a belated... By the time you get this, it'll be a belated uh, Thanksgiving. Okay, so we store in our home by... 100 kilograms, so we're going to do... One, two... Just buy 2500 fertilizer price 100 grams store zero. I'm gonna buy fertilizer also. I'll buy 2500 of that. And let's buy five ducks. And ooh. Let's go ahead and buy a meteorology station. Yay! Cool. Okay. I don't know. Hopefully we won't run out of money. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, Alright, now drive back home. Yay! Oh, great. <clears throat> Alright, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video and um, I'm going to come back and we will pick up uh, once we get back to the farm, so. Okay, guys, um, we are back, and I'm about halfway back to the farm. Our farm's down here. I'm right here. I decided that I would drive through this little farm, and I kind of got a little bit too close to this little lean-to thing here, and now it, and it, I hit it. And unfortunately, I wasn't recording, and now I literally can't move. I can do this. I can, but actually, oh, thank God! I keep for. <laughs> I feel like an idiot now. Um, yeah, the. Um, it, it's just another reason for them to, uh, you know get rid of the whole Z key to switch into reverse, because derps like me will forget that from time to time. To time. Uh, I feel like a, a total derp. Wait a second. Wait a second. Uh, is the... Oh, I guess maybe the shadow of our guy is in there. Okay. Tragedy averted. Not that... <laughs> Ooh, look at the tower off in the distance throwing itself in and out I kind of want to see what the see what it's going to look like when the sun comes up I think that's our farm over there, like straight over there. So I'm going to drive that in that direction. Oh, it's, this, this tractor's so fast! I mean, typically, you know, a farmer wouldn't take his tractor to the farm store to buy crops. Um, he'd probably, you know jump in the old Ford pickup truck or Dodge pickup truck and, um, and go that way, but, <clears throat> you know, nothing I can do about it. Um, I, I'm kind of noticing, like, on the minimap field, like, this field over here is bright yellow, the field over, over to the left is kind of like a, I won't say a gray, but kind of like an olive green color, uh, the one that I just went past, um, that one appeared to be, you know, uncultivated. So I don't know if maybe there's actually seeds planted on this field or what. I do not know. Wow, this is slow. 
And having to hold down the, the key on the keyboard is really kind of annoying. Uh-oh. I see a bug. Aside from me crashing into the tree. Um, the trees are not level with the ground. <clears throat> Somebody's going to get fired for that one, I think. No, I'm just Trees are not level. They're floating trees. <laughs> I'm going to have to uh, name this episode like uh, Floating Trees and Cru Cruise Control and Floating Trees <laughs> or la or lack, the lack of Cruise Control and Float I don't know I don't know I'm going to have to integrate Floating Trees into it somehow but that's alright I mean I the game, by and large, is working. Um, you know, it's not like X Rebirth, where literally like nothing is working. Um, it's you know, that's that's a, that's a shame too with X Rebirth because it's such a a neat looking game. It's it's a game that I want to like profusely, and so far I just can't because of the bugs. I like it and I don't like it. I like I like what it could become, but um, yeah, I don't know. But you probably don't care about X Rebirth, so I don't, I won't talk about it anymore. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. that. That looks nice. Look at the trees shining through the the pink leaves. Oh. I wonder if the trees will kind of get more full because this is supposed to be let's see early spring. Um, typically in early spring the trees aren't this uh, aren't blooming this much. All right, so wait, whoa, wait, whoa, wait, whoa, wait, 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 Oh my God, you have to be kidding me! Yeah, I can drive back home, but I guess I have to take the waypoint. Oh, you gotta! Oh, you can't be serious. Okay, so apparently I have to take all these bloody waypoints all the way back here. I can't just go in a straight line. Alright guys, um, I'm going to pause the video again, and I'm going to have to drive all the way back to the store, and then all the way back. So when I get back to the store here, I'll be back. Um, definitely, a, definitely on my hate list. <laughs> I'll be back. Okay, guys, well, we're not quite back yet, but um, one thing I noticed was it's starting to get dark outside, and so <clears throat> I kind of thought that was cool, so turning my lights on, kind of checking out how the tracker works, and um, I don't know why I have to go all the way back over here, because, <laughs> because the waypoints took me, oh, because it's going up there, and then, okay, I see, I see what's happening. I see. So yeah, you you pretty much have to have to follow the waypoints at least for um, <clears throat> you know the beginning of the career mode. From what I understand, I read some things last night that like the first year of the career mode is kind of like the t the whole game tutorial. So I'm gonna play through that and. Um, you know, see what the see what it's like, and hopefully, I don't know where the heck is it telling me to go? Oh. <laughs> it's it like zigzags you all over the place. Um. I'm still not even remotely familiar with the map, so I'm sure as we progress. Um, we'll get more and more familiar. Oh, and another thing I noticed was <clears throat> when I was driving back to the store to, to uh, start this uh, trek over again, is over, uh, you can see on the other side of the field there's a Kromp uh, tipper. And so I don't know if we actually own that or if it's just like a random piece of farming equipment that's there for scenic decoration. I just, I don't know. 
Oh my god, I wish there was a cruise control button. Um, I wish I kind of would have started the episode. Oh, there's the kind of, okay, there's the sunset over there. Yeah, the sky looks really nice. Three. Oh, <clears throat> since we bought the um, meteorology meteorological station, now we can see what the weather. So today's sunny, tomorrow's sunny, the day after sunny. So that's cool. Oops. Don't stop. Don't slow down. Every every kilometer per hour is precious in this game. Oh, there's the big uh, the big castle. Um, I did I like went up to it uh, last night while I was playing um, just in the the open mode and um, there's, you can't get inside of it or anything. I was kind of disappointed, um, but it's just just there to add a little scenic touch. <clears throat> okay, we're finally back. Now, what would kind of be cool is if this game was like farming, or not farming, uh, Euro Truck Simulator, uh, Euro Truck Simulator 2, where you actually got tired as the uh, the game progressed, <laughs> and uh, and you actually had to like you know take breaks and sleep. Don't think that's the case, but that would be pretty cool if it was. Oh, we need cruise control, and we need a we need like a farm truck, like a pickup or something that actually goes you know 100 kilometers an hour or something like that, so that we can. <clears throat> get to the farm store, get back. You know, we're obviously not carrying all this, the fertilizer or anything with us. And we could put it in the back of the truck, theoretically, hint, hint, hint. So, why, why, why? We're almost there, guys. We're almost there. I'm sure you can drive back home now. Okay. I'm sure eventually we'll find out how to hire workers. I'm guessing we're going to have to pick up our cedar. Because that's kind of the next step in the field. The, you know, getting the field processed. Um, now where's the thing? The seeds you have bought are now in the warehouse. You can gather them and start sowing. Remember to attach the cedar first. Okay, so, yep. I was right. What? You can earn more money by helping your neighbors do their field work. One needs help. Uh. <laughs> okay. So it looks like we have to go and plow our neighbor's field. So um, I'm going to call it an episode. I think this one's going a little bit long and it's been kind of boring. So this is going to take a while. Uh, we'll come back in the next episode, guys, and we'll uh, we'll get uh, we'll get our uh, plow connected, and we'll plow our neighbor's field. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Um, be sure to thumb up the video, uh, comment, uh, give me any questions or anything like that you might have, and uh, we'll see you next. We will see you. <laughs> Bleh. We'll see you guys in the next episode. And hey, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Bye for now.